throw that stuff out. So coming on up. Um, our warm up for today uh, for the upper body is going to be one minute of inchworms. So familiar from yesterday, we come down to the floor, we crawl our way back or out, we crawl our way up, we come up to stand, crawl it out, crawl it back, and come up. So starting to get those arms moving one minute, uh, and then we're gonna come into our forearm strength stuff. So go ahead and make your way to the back of your space. One minute, we're going in three, two, one, let's move. We walk it all the way out into plank, walk the hands back to the feet, roll up to stand, and keep going. And I'm excited about this. It's always fun to try something new. So even if it doesn't feel quite normal or comfortable today, this is the first time we've done this. So just be super patient with yourself. Listen to your body. Know that we have longer bouts of our exercises today. Um, the moves are not as technical, but you're gonna have to have a little bit more endurance, some of that mental push to make your way through. We got 20 more seconds, keep walking. Get those arms all the way out, walk them back up. We know what a minute is because we're working into this time frame right now. We're picking a pace that's sustainable and keep moving. Last 10. And then we're gonna walk our hands back to our feet. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody up, awesome. So always thinking smaller muscles to bigger muscles. We're gonna start with our forearm. Glue the elbows into your side. We have one minute of wrist curls. The first 30 seconds, we're gonna go in, in. The second 30 seconds, we're gonna flip our wrists and go the other way. So each time I'm pulling my knuckles in towards my, um, my wrist, I'm just alternating after 30 seconds, okay? So elbows in, first 30 seconds. Let's do it, wrist curls, in. And imagine you're holding a set of weights, pulling them up. Yep. And, and I did a workout on my own this morning with my bands on. And all it was, it was upper body, was push-ups, bicep curls with not a lot of weight, and some tricep dips. And my arms were shaking as I was doing dishes. So that's the kind of work we're going for today. And I'm doing it myself as well. I also put my bands on for recovery for my legs from yesterday. Felt so nice. Good. In 10, we're going to switch directions. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. Go ahead and flip the wrist opposite way. This time curling down, down. That's it. Good. Keep pulling the elbows in. Squeeze, press. Yes. Amazing. Good. Feel that forearm burn. That's what we want. Last 10. And then I'm gonna introduce the moves of our circuit. We have four of them, and then we're gonna run through it in five, four, three, two. If you have not already drank a glass of water or taken a sip of water, please do so now before we dive into our work. So I'd like for perspective to us, for us to keep in mind that we are doing 12 minutes and only 12 minutes of upper body work. So if it seems like a long time, keep pushing through it. We have four moves. The first move is a tricep dip. So we've done all of this stuff before. I come up, I'm either bent legs or straight legs. One minute, down and up, okay? 20 seconds rest. After that, we come up, bicep curls, one minute. Okay, try not to let the arms fully straighten. You wanna keep that muscle contracted the whole time. If you have light weights here, you can use them. If not, you won't need them. Next up, push up. Down and up. Totally fine to do them on the knees. And after that, we're gonna come down for a forearm plank punch. Reach, reach, reach. So we have four moves, one minute of each, 20 seconds rest in between. Let's gear up, tricep dip, make your way onto your palm. Good, our time starts in three, two, one. One minute, get your butt off the floor, down and up. And if you have not already started your cycle or your cycle is about to end, reset it now so that it doesn't stop in the middle of your workout. Don't let your butt hit the floor. And so when we do strength-based workouts and we do circuits for a little bit longer time, this is when we get to check in with our mind and tell ourselves really awesome, encouraging things. Because it gets tiring and it's gonna get hard, you're gonna get shaky. 
even if you have to hold yourself up and just pause, taking a moment before you keep bending the elbows up, fine, keep moving. We have 20 seconds left. You're doing it. Get your butt up even higher. Amazing. Try that dip. Good. Done. That looks so great. Awesome. Good. Last 10. Then we're going to give our wrists a riddle, a riddle, a little wiggle. That's what I'm going for. And go right into bicep curl. We have five, four, come on, three, two, and one. Good job, Gabe. Everyone, come on up. Shake it out. Roll it out. You can either be on your knees or come up to stand, whatever works for you. Good. We have five, four, three, two, let's go. Bicep curl. In, out, in, out. And because we're doing a whole minute of these, I want you to really press your elbows into your sides and start by going nice and slow. I'll tell you when we're half done, and if you want to speed up, then you can. Let's start out making sure that we can keep moving the entire time in, out. And these are really difficult because I did a lot of these this morning, but I'm going to keep going. We're doing it together. In, out, in, good. Now we're half done. If you want to add speed, get that speed going. 30 more seconds. Don't let me see you stop. Keep going. Nice, Diane. Squeeze those fists. Feel your muscles pressing against your band. Awesome, Kayleen. I love it. Last 10. 20 seconds rest. That gives us just enough time to make our way back down onto our floor space for a push-up. We have five, four, three, two. Everyone down onto your mat space, your floor space. In 10 seconds, we have one minute of push-ups. I think is our hardest one of all the moves. Coming up in five, four, three, two, push-ups. Take them slow to start. Always okay to drop the knees. And being really mindful of our form here, if you notice your hips starting to dip towards the floor, I really want you to drop your knees. So we're working the right muscles. We're working the chest, working the shoulders, and we're also working our triceps, even in this push-up position. Good. Nice and slow. Chris looks great. Wonderful. I see people kind of slowing down a little bit. We're like, oh, good. 20 more seconds. If you want to add pace here, add pace, speed. Otherwise, keep going. If you need to pause and plank, it's okay to pause and plank. You can take even little baby bends of the elbows. You know you can do this. We can push through. Last 10. We get a rest in eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Roll it out. Last up. Between each set, we're going to take a 30-second rest, and then we're going to jump right back into it. All right. Make your way into your forearm. Forearm plank punch. One minute. Last one of this set. Ready, set, go. Reach. Reach. Fully extending your fist forward. Don't let your hips rock and roll. So we know all of these moves really well. We're just doing them for time so we can get a lot stronger. I love it. Mm -hmm. Good. Try and keep the hips from rocking and rolling. All right. We're half done. If you want to add a little bit of speed here, you can. Well, keep in mind we're doing this two more times. Nice. Good. Sophie and Sydney, keep working. I love it. Go, Jeff, go. 20 more seconds, guys. Always okay to pause and plank. If you can, keep moving, even if it's slow. We get a break after this. Work through that shake, that burn for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Everyone come up either onto the knees or stand. Roll it out. Shake it out. Reach the arms across the body. Take a stretch. I saw a number of people drop to their knees on the push-ups, and that makes me really happy because that means that we're not compromising our form. We're doing them well. Good. Nice bicep stretch. Pull the shoulders back. If you want to grab a sip of water, now is your chance to do it. We have 15 more seconds, and then we're jumping right back into those tricep dips. Good. Everyone make your way onto your mat. Coming up in five, four, three, two, one minute, tricep dips. Down, up, down, up. If this gets to be, my watch is talking to me. 
series like okay here we go if this gets to be too much on your wrist you can always come up and do a tricep extension that's fine as long as you're doing something good get those hips up we can do it mm -hmm. if you're doing tricep extension try not to fully try to fully straighten the arm in out awesome perfect i am 20 more seconds 20 more seconds Good. Burn it out. Go for that shake. We get to give this muscle break after this. Go, Kelly, go. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tricep stretch. Take it across the body. Good sides. Good. Make fists, pull the elbows in. One minute, bicep curls. We're going. In. Part way down. In. Try not to fully straighten the arms. Keep that squeeze. Keep them contracted. Imagine you're holding a 20, 30, 50, I don't know how heavy pound set of weight. And you've noticed that we've already done our first round of this. So if you have the opportunity or you want to go a little bit harder on your cycle, you know the moves. Now's a great time to do that. Yeah. And in. Good. There is really no need for speed here because we're squeezing and we're working. 20 more seconds. Lift. Lift. Woo. <laughs> Good. Last 10. Give me all you've got. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bicep stretch. Reach. You have 10 seconds to make your way down onto the floor. We're going for push-ups. Hardest part of this workout in five, four, three, two, one minute of push-ups. Go. Nice. Good. Making sure we keep those elbows slightly tucked in. We don't want to let them completely flare out to the sides because that's a little bit hard on our shoulders. And use the muscles of your core and your glutes to help you out here so it's not all on the arm. Nice, Clinton. Half done. Keep breathing. Go, Kayleen, go. <laughs> See, people are dying, and I love it. This is that full upper body. Go all in. We only have one more round after this. 15 seconds. See if you can give me three more push ups. We have 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Cool. Roll it out. Curious to hear how we feel about strength day after this. Last move, one minute rest, then our last set, and we're going to leg band. See, we got this. We can do this. No problem. Come on down to your forearm. Forearm plank punch. Three, two, one. Go. Reach and reach. Extending alternating arm forward. Also okay to do these on your knees as well. Good. Now notice if your hips are sagging or piking up, keep pulling your heels back to maintain good form. And as we're doing this, I've said this on other days too, and we're doing our cardio, see if you can slow down your breathing a little bit in through the nose, ideally out through the nose. It's not in through the nose and out through the mouth. The more we can regulate our breathing, the more we can tell our body, it's okay, we can do this. 20 more seconds, give me what you got. Speed, no speed, doesn't matter, just keep moving. Yes. Good. Last 10, boom. Arms are tired and that's what we're going for. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Check it out. Grab water. All right. 30 more seconds. Stretch, rest. <laughs> Curse your instructor internally, whatever you want to do. <laughs> and then we're going to do our last one. You guys are doing awesome. I'm seeing everyone and we're all sticking with it. I know those forearm punches at the end, people are like, ugh. 
<laughs> but it looks good. All right, last set, tricep dips, or if you know that it's too much on your shoulders to do those dips, go for tricep extension. But as you do it, I want you to see the, you fully extend your arms back behind you. Baby bend, fully extend. Otherwise, on the floor in four, three, two, let's go. One minute. If you really, really need more today, extend your legs straight. Keep your butt up, down, up, down, up. Cool. <laughs> Keep moving. Totally fine to just press yourself up and hold. If you absolutely can't take the bends, just keep your butt off the floor. We're half done. So our last one of these. Last one of these of the week of the week. Last one of these of the month of May. All right, all right. 15, 14, 13. 12, 11, 10, 9, go Gabe, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, go Jeff, 2, and rest, tricep stretch. Opposite side. Bicep curls. And if you're doing these at home and you don't have any weight, you can always use bottles of water, cans of soup, anything you might have around the house if you really want to add some weight. Cycles are rolling, elbows in, one minute, let's go. Up, up, now this is our last say. If you want to add speed, you can add speed. Good, keeping the tension the whole time. Pull, 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 that's it. And, and noticing that we're in good form as we're doing this, so we don't want to be slouchy. Keep lifting the chest, the shoulders up, up, up. If you want to go slow motion, go slow motion. Please lift slowly. Play with the bicep curl. See which variation is hardest for you. Mm -hmm. Different strokes for different folks. 20 seconds. I love it. Good. We're going to take the stretch in 10. We have eight, seven, six, two more, five, four, three, two, and bicep stretch. Clasp your hands, pull the shoulders back, and then lengthen the arms as much as you can. And if there is one stretch for the upper body that I'd recommend doing every day, it's this one, because you get to lengthen out the muscles across the chest, which help us not slouch down like this, and we also lengthen our biceps. So pull them back. If you have space, pull them up. We have 10 more seconds. Release the hands. Come down onto your mat for our last round of push-ups. Tomorrow, we're going to stretch it all out. You got it. You got it. All right. Four, three, two, and one. Push-ups. Let's go. Remembering that we don't have to drop our chest and our belly all the way to the floor each time. Your range of motion can be a little bit smaller. You can be in a plank position with a little bit smaller baby or bend in the elbows. You're still working those muscles. Oh man, John is flying. So good. Breathe through it, breathe through it. Go Jeff, go Diane. Steve and Charles, I can't see you, but keep doing what you're doing. 20 more seconds. Mm -hmm. Good. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 2 more, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Shrug it out. All right. 10 more seconds. Make your way onto your form. Down on the mat. Forearm plank punch in four, three, two, and one. One minute. Reach, reach. I like to pretend that I'm grabbing something far away from my body and I'm pulling it in towards my body. Grab, grab. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome. Good job, Instagram. We're on the forearm plank punch. We're doing a whole minute of work after this. We get to pop our bands off and answer the question of the day. 30 more seconds. Gabe's got like a leg lift going on there. Cool. I like it. Uh, 20. Keeping those hips still. Squeeze your core. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hop on up to stand. We've got to increase our heart rate at least once with our armbands on. Okay, we're only going to do this three times in our workout today. This is our first time. Hand to opposite foot kick. Kick, kick. So everything we're doing involves reaching the arm across the body. So that's our first move. Our second move is butt kick punch. And our last move is lateral lunge hand to foot. Down, up, down, up. So everything we're doing, there's a reach involved, so we can also get a twist in the spine. First 30 seconds, hand to opposite foot. You can add a bounce or you can just kick. Ready, set, go. Up, up. See if you can add some hop in that step. Get the heart rate up before we switch them out. And we usually do a lot more lower body than upper body. So today we're getting into those upper body parts. I love it. Everyone did such good work. Good. Last 10. Up, up. Good. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. But kick punch. Let's go. Yeah, get those heels all the way up, stretching out the quad muscles. Reach, reach, punch, punch. Good, last 10, run it out. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step the feet wide, lunge up, lunge up. Pressing your hips back, yes. If you want more, elbow to knee. Yeah, that's it, awesome. Good, half done. Good, so keeping your spine straight, even if you're doing elbow to knee, no slouching, you gotta get your hips really low. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get rid of those armbands. Big sip of water. Our question of the day is, if you had to describe yourself in one word, what would it be? Let me hear it. Capable. Steve said, Steve said adventurous. Someone said capable? Who's that? Uh, Dan. He said capable. I love that. That's a really good one. What, Gabe said dead? <laughs> what, Gabe, what about like your more general self, not your post upper body self? <laughs> Instagram, if you have one word that you'd like to use to describe yourself, go ahead and throw it in the chat. We're having a brief discussion on Zoom while we switch out our bands to our legs. And we pick one word to describe ourselves. Kayleen says courageous. Oh, I like that. Capable, courageous, dead, adventurous. What else? Two more, and then we'll keep moving. Or maybe you guys don't want to answer because you don't want to keep moving today. <laughs> I'll give you mine. Mine would probably be positive. If no one's picked up on that, maybe energetic. All right, one more. What do we got? I'm going to call on someone if someone doesn't volunteer it. Yeah. Optimistic, baby. Oh, yeah. I like it. Optimistic. George is lucky. 
Sounds like we're a pretty cool group of people. I like to hang out with you guys. We're courageous, lucky, optimistic, positive, dead. <laughs> All right. So starting with the calves, we're going to do our heel raises. Then we're going to do our second of three heart rate boosts to warm up our body. And then we're going to come into our lower body moves. So come on up, stand. Think of the heel raises as being part of your warm up. So take them slow, take them fast, take them however you need to take them. But do your best to keep your heels off the floor the whole time. Cycles are going. We have one minute in three, two, one. Heels up, hover, up, hover. So starting like this, we'll add some variation later on in our minute. But now just try and keep your heels lifted off the floor the whole time. And my feet are parallel. And there's a natural tendency here to kind of start to sway forward with the body to balance out the weight. See if you can keep your shoulders stacked over your hips the whole time. And the way I like to do that is continuing to grow taller from the crown of my head. When I do this and I grow tall, I can't really slouch. Ooh, 25 more seconds. Now, keeping your heels off the floor, if you want, you can angle your toes out in a V shape. Yeah. Working a little different portion of the calf. Last 15 seconds. See, we did this. This is our only set of heel raises today. We have 10. Good. Lift the heels as high as you can and pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Calf burn. All right. Heart rate boost. Second of three. Hand to opposite foot kick. Three, two, one, 30 seconds, let's go. Kick, kick, kick. We're doing this to open up our hamstrings. Up, mm -hmm. side to side. You can add a balance if you want. All right, that's good. Up. Get those feet all the way up to your hands. There we go. Last 10. We have six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Butt kick punch. Ready, set, go. Mm -hmm. Get those heels all the way up. Nice. Good. Really get those arms going. Reach it out. I love it. Last 10. Let's move. Then we're going to lateral lunge, hand or elbow to foot in four, three, two, and one. Hop it out, bending side to side, either hand to foot or elbow to knee. Yeah, we're doing these to open up our hips as well as open up our spine, twisting side to side. Good. All right. Yeah, last 10. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. We have one, two, three, four moves. Same thing we had for the upper body. The first one is reverse lunges. We go back, up, back. Up. I want to see you get that back knee towards, if not onto the floor, okay? Down and up. My front knee does not go past my ankle, so none of this. Shift your weight back, okay? Next up, we have ball slams. I grab my imaginary or my real ball. Get my tubing in line. I take it down. Up, down. Onto my tiptoes, down. Up. Whole minute of that. Yeah. It's awesome. We're going to do great. Next one. Eight count body builders. Thank you, John, for introducing me to these. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll walk you through it. Okay. After that, we have sumo squats. Step the feet wide, angle the toes out as far as you can, down and up. Now, your sumo squat can be this. Or if you really want to burn, keep it low, keep it slow, okay? 
Those are our four moves. We're going through them three times. We're gonna burn. It's gonna be great. First up, reverse lunges. One minute, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. If you need more of a challenge, hands to the head. And in my opinion, this is the easiest of our four moves. And we're doing it to, getting our to get our lower body used to doing the work. Chest up, nice straight spine, no slouching forward. Good. I love it. Good. Either hands to hips or hands behind the head. Get that back knee down or onto the floor. We are more than half done here, guys. Bands are pumping, hearts working, brains working. All right. Good. 15. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 20 seconds rest. Take it out. Okay. In my opinion, and this is just me, I think that the ball slams are the hardest one of all these because our arms and our legs are working all at once. But maybe eight count bodybuilders are for you. Whatever you've got, if we're doing body slams in three, two, one, grab your ball, reach it back, up, slam, up. As you do it, get low. Yes, that's the stuff. Good. Remember, as you drop it back between your legs, none of this, shifting your butt back and up back up good finding that balance at the top half done <laughs> just maybe hold your ball <laughs> nice coming all the way up onto the tiptoes 20 more seconds sophie and sydney look good uh-huh 15 14 13 12 11 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, go, Chris. Three, two, and one. 20 seconds. Keep moving. Grab a sip of water. Okay. Make your way to the top of your mat or your workspace. Eight count bodybuilders. I will do the first one with you in three, two, one. Let's go. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up. That's it. One whole minute. And this is the only plank thing we're doing for the lower body. So if you can jump, jump. If you can't jump, step back, step up. Fine. So again, that working, and I know we've done a ton of push-ups. So if you need to drop your knees, you can drop your knees up. Cool. We are half done. Oh, John's doing a jump at the top. I love it. Go, Quentin. Keep going. Good. Nice dance. Woo. Diane, beautiful. 15, 14. Don't stop now. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up to stand, move it out. I just saw Jeff's one word was evolving. Beautiful. What a cool group of workout friends we have here. Okay. Last move, then we have our minute of rest. Step those feet wide. Angle your toes as far out as you can to the side. Knees, don't get sleepy, press them out. Sumo squats, ready, set, let's go. Down, up, down, up. My challenge to you is don't fully rise. Keep some bend in your knees the whole time. Up, down, up. This is kind of like when we did imaginary wall sits before. My spine is nice and straight and I'm bending into my knees. Down, up, if you can go lower, get lower. Yes, good. Keep pressing the knees open. Beautiful. Now, see if you have the opportunity to angle your toes out even more now that the hips have opened. 20 more seconds. Down, up, 
down, up. Maybe you even want to pulse it at the bottom if you're feeling crazy. I don't know. That's up to you. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Get low. 4, 3, 2, and 1. One minute of rest. Two more times. That's only eight minutes of work. We can do this. We can definitely do this. Good. Move around. Shake it out. Breathe. Restart the cycles if they've stopped. We have 30 more seconds here. So take the time. Maybe do some good mornings to stretch. You know what to do here. Kick it out. Walk it out. All right. Let's start to make our way to the front of our workspace for reverse lunges. 10 seconds left to rest. Hands to hips or hands to head. We're going in five, four, three, two. Here we go. Back, up. That's it. Nice. Checking our front knee. I want my weight to shift back behind me. Nice. These guys make me so happy. They're so good. Mm hmm Half done. Mm hmm 20 more seconds. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, chest up, engage your core. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 20 seconds rest. Option to take a hamstring stretch here. Pedal out the legs, or you can just meander around. All right, we're going to do ball slams. We're going to take a sip of water. Then we have our eight count bodybuilder sumo squats. We do it one more time and we are done. All right, squat position. Grab your ball, your imaginary ball. Toss it between your legs, go up, down, up, down. Time is rolling. As you reach out, nice straight arms. Now I'm noticing a little bit of slouching as we go through our legs. None of that, don't drop it as low, just get your butt lower, up, down. Yes, fantastic adjustment, perfect. Ooh, if your legs are not shaking, you can keep going. This is all mental, we can do it. I've seen all of you do all of these moves before. I know we have the strength, which is whether we can push ourselves past that point of discomfort to build that discipline to go stronger, and I know we can last 20 seconds. Yes! Kayleen's like launching the ball up there. Awesome. <laughs> Getting that break at the top. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Don't stop now. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Yeesh. Sip of water if you want it. All right, all right. Walk to the top of your workspace. Eight count bodybuilders in five seconds. We have four, three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And any variation of burpee or eight count or anything you're doing, it's fine. You're doing that work. You're going from up to down. John's dog is just hanging out. <laughs> like, good job, Dad. <laughs> We're already half done. Yes, Dan. Good job. Whoo! When is she gonna start counting? I don't know. When is she gonna do it? When is she gonna do it? 15 seconds. <laughs> 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Come on, four, three, one more, two, one. That was aggressive time period to do one more. Good job, everyone else. 
Move it, shake it, roll it, whatever you wanna do. Sumo squats. And these ones to me are the hardest in terms of pure strength and shake and burn because there's no release. It's just contract, contract, angle of feet out. I noticed a couple people were in normal squat position before like this. I want you to really focus on getting those toes out and thinking of driving the knees out to the sides as opposed to forward. Okay, so just a little correction. Other than that, form looks great. Three, two, one, let's go. You can do whatever you want with your hands. And as you're doing this, I want you to think about leading with your tailbone. Down, down. My weight is in my heels. You can even pick your toes up off the floor to help remind you if you want. Out. Ooh, there we go. Mm-hmm. Nice. Woo! Dropping down, pressing them open. You can even take your hands behind your legs and press into your hands for a little extra bit of work. 20 more seconds. Try not to come all the way up. Stay low. Even if it's a hold. Stay low. Lower. Lower. Yes. 15. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. Weight is in the heels. Butt back. Keep going for 6. 5. 4. 3. Two and one. One minute. One minute. Whatever you want to do. If you're wanting a stretch, step your feet into squat position. Bend the knees so much so that you can grab, reach down, touch the floor. And then once your leg, your hands are to the floor, you can straighten out your legs as much as you can. And just kind of bend them. Straighten as much as you can, bend, straighten as much as you can. But I want to keep my fingertips in contact with the floor the whole time. And you can, by all means, let your back round on these ones. Thirty more seconds of rest. Four more minutes of work. Can we do it? Heck yes. And we've got some core. All right. Come on up, step to the top of your workspace, reverse lunges in five, four, three, two, here we go, knees down, up, down, up, and you know this move well now, so you can control your pace, if you want to add some kind of variation here, this is your workout, do what feels right for you, maybe a kick, whatever it needs to be. Otherwise, just keep lunging, keep breathing. Chest up, shoulders relaxed. No hunching. Half done. We haven't had one of these days in a while. It's time. It's time. I like it. You guys are doing so great. Last 15 seconds. For our last. 10, let me see you do six more lunges. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. There, we did it. We did it. Hands across the shoulders for our rest. We're taking some good mornings. Flat spine, straight legs. Bend into it, rise back up, press your hips forward. Mm -hmm. If you need a bend in your knees because it reduces the pain in your lower back, that is totally cool. Three more. You know, that release of the hamstrings for two. And last one. Come on up. Step the feet into squat position. Grab your ball. We're slamming it in three, two, one. Down, whoop, down. <laughs> and if you want to pause the top and hold it, that's okay because you're on your toes, so your calves are working even while you're here. Good luck keeping your balance at the top, though. Don't let me see you fall. Yes. Sophie and Sydney look so good. Already half done. Good. As you reach up, nice straight arms. Whoop. Good. 
19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Come on, lower. 12, 11, 10, 9. Two more. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rest. Grab your water. Walk to the top of your workspace. Eight count bodybuilders. So giving the legs a bit of a rest because we're getting a cardio boost here. And because we've been doing so well, we're gonna skip our last heart rate boost of the day. We've earned it. So this is the last opportunity we really have to get our heart rate up. So let's do a darn good job of it. Eight count bodybuilders ready, set, go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, up. Woo, yes, go Clinton. <laughs> Keep going Clinton, good job. Give it look a little tired. Have to. Are we remembering to breathe? Let me see you do two more. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Everybody up to stand. Big breath in. Let it go. Walk around, shake it out. All right, last one, last one. Then we're coming down into our backs for core. For core, just a little heads up, we're doing three moves, 30 seconds each, two times. So it's a grand total of like three minutes of core. Climb, sumo squat. Angle those feet all the way out. One minute, ready, set, go. Let's see how low we can go. You want to get really crazy? Just hold it the whole time. Maybe you barely pulse it. Ooh. Keep growing taller from the top of your head as you do this. Find length between your tailbone and your head. And then get your tailbone even lower. All right. Half done. Knee check. Hands behind the legs. Press the back of the knees into them. Good. Keeping that form of the legs, you can do whatever you want with your hands. Maybe do a dance, do the wave. <laughs> mm -hmm. 15. Low as you can possibly go, all in. 10, nine, eight, seven, squeeze it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, parallel the feet, circle the hips around. Other way. All right, take a gaze at your screen for your core work of the day. I'm coming down onto the floor. First 30 seconds, double leg lowers. Down and up. Next 30 seconds, bicycle. Last 30 seconds, V up. Up, down, try and get as much off your spine as you can. Okay? So, we're going in four, three, two, one. 30 seconds, double leg lowers, down and up. Now there is one rule and only one rule here. As you do these, keep your entire spine, including your lower back, rooted into the floor the entire time. If your lower back starts to lift, you're compromising your spine and not working your core. You just don't drop your legs as well. Good, last five, four, three, two, one, bicycle side to side, hands behind the head. Try and keep your head off the floor the whole time. Find contact between opposite elbow and knee. Isn't it amazing how fast 30 seconds is after you've been doing work for a minute? Just fly by. Good, as you're doing this, 
driving the alternate leg away from you like you're pushing something with your heel. Push, push, keep it active. We're coming into the up in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Arms back, legs back. Ready, set, let's go. We come up and down, up and down. Hardest one of the set. We're saving for last. We're going to take a 30 second rest after this move, and then we're going to do it one more time. <laughs> I like it. I'm seeing arms and legs flying. Looks good. In five, we're going to pull the knees into the chest. We have four, three, two, and one. Knees into the chest, rock side to side. Okay. Take a breath. We're doing it one more time. All right. Legs up. Hands down by your sides or in a little diamond underneath your butt for support. Double leg lowers. Ready and go. Down and up with the legs. If you can, keep your feet flexed, toes pulled in towards your shins, and drive your heels away from you the entire time to make the move even harder, straightening out the legs. Mm -hmm. Last 10, and we're going to take the hands behind the head and go right into bicycles in five, four, three, Two, hands behind the head, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, side to side, elbow to knee. Time's rolling. All right. That's the step. Remembering to fully extend the alternate leg. Press, press, press. In five, we're going to reach our arms back, our legs back for the last move. V up. We have three, two, one. Come up into that V shape. Extend your arms back behind you and bring your legs down. Yes. If keeping the legs straight just is not happening, take a bend into your knees as you pull them in the chest to help you get up. Yes, amazing. I'm seeing you guys do it. Last 10. Woo. Good. In five, we're going to pull the knees into the chest and just take a nap. Four, three, two, and one. Amazing job, everyone. Pull your knees into your chest, rock side to side. Now, keeping your shoulders rooted into the floor, release your left arm and gently guide your knees across the body to the right, letting the spine twist, letting the hip open. And just letting the breathing slow down. You can let your eyes close if you're comfortable with it here. I think that's one of the hardest workouts we've done in a while. Just congratulating yourself on your hard work as you bring the knees back through center and guide them over to the left, keeping the right shoulder down. Notice here where you're gripping or tensing in the body. See if you can just relax those spaces, maybe the backs, the shoulders, maybe even your jaw. And then roll all the way over onto your left side and just prop yourself up to sit. Go ahead and make your way up to stand. Good. Go ahead and clasp the hands behind the back. That one upper body stretch you should be doing every day as you lengthen the arms, pulling the shoulders back, and then bend into the knees, dive forward for a hamstring stretch, rocking side to side. Keeping your head tucked, your chin tucked in that forward fold. Release your hands, let everything hang. Be as heavy as you can possibly be. Letting your upper body melt down towards the floor. And just take two breaths here, nice and big. Each exhale, you let something go, you fold a little bit deeper. And then take a bend in your knees, roll up for a sec. 
five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, let everything flop. Bring your hands together. Give yourself a round of applause. Amazing work, guys. We will definitely add some mobility and stretch work into our workout tomorrow to compensate for some of this craziness. Thank, Thank you, you very for much. All of your hard work. They were working hard, that's for sure. <laughs> they were definitely working hard.